Check, 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 check. Yeah. One lot of my people tuning in right now. DJ K Tone 20 and 20. 20 and 20 with Trey Lou. 20 and 20 with Trey Lou. I need y'all to lock in right now. Share with all your people right now. Share. Share right now. Let's go. We're gonna wait for Trey Lou. Brand new one that's called Show Me The Way. Show you the way, show you the way. Brand new one, show you the way. Am I the greatest? She told me yes. I'm so blessed. I don't need hey. This ain't a role, they don't need to protect. Rappers be lying, but I'm not in Big shout out to On The Grind, OnTheGrind100.com. I'm doing me, my life is a flex. Don't get it twisted, I still get the check. I want it all, won't set up for less. OnTheGrind100.com, what's happening? Stay in your lane, you looking stressed. Then study the game, this is a test. Slip on the plane when I need the rest. I done ice out the chain, it's freezing my neck. Freezing my neck, yeah, it's frozen. They love that hate, I was chosen. It touched my hands. Let's go, I'm, Trey. I'm done with it now, you can hold it. Keep that. My so hot, they don't think I rolled it. Style so smooth, they think I stole it. Mm. They throwing stones, now I'm rolling. Tell these little people to keep on trolling. Life overseas, paying no fees. Stacking these G's, my life is a breeze. Counting these G's, I do it with ease. I just get Hola. the keys. Wrong, wrong, up in the way. So far gone, you stuck in the days. Hold up. I, I got nothing to say. I got the juices. Yeah. Trey Lou on the bellow is happening. Yeah, I'm here. Hold on, Trey. Let me let him vibe to this real quick. Let me let him vibe to it real quick. Turn up. Turn up one time. Yeah. Hold up. Y'all go check this video out right now, too. Go check this video out right now. Show you the way on YouTube right now. Show you the way on YouTube right now. Yes, sir. If y'all like this, let me see a fire emoji. Fire emoji in the comments if you're digging it. Go crazy. Shorty and vegan, so I feed her fruit. Ooh. Trey Lou in the building. Y'all run this live up. Run this live up right now. Run this live up right now. Everybody share real quick. Share real quick. Yeah, go crazy. The pistol division is clear. I'm talking crystal. I do it big. I'm allergic to little. These rappers we think they get played play like a fiddle. Like a Pillow and soft as a skittle. I said that wrong, but let's Hold see. Up. Yeah. yeah. Going crazy right now. We going crazy. What's happening? Nah, not too much, man. Just vibing. How you feeling? Feel great, man. Feel great. I never get tired of hearing that song, man. Yeah, <laughs> I never sure. get tired. That joint for gave sure. me turned up every time. Yeah, we we we're gonna get into it, man, real quick. DJ K Tone. Trey Lou, this is 20 and 20. This is how we do this is how we do the interview segment. It's okay. 20 and 20. We, we do 20 questions in 20 minutes, but you know, give or oh, take. Oh, shoot. Minutes. Give or take Dang. a minutes. Give or take a minutes. fire. Rapid you know fire I mean? on them. Yeah. But you know, it's, it. it's fun stuff, man. Nothing, nothing crazy. Nothing crazy. Nah, I love it. I'm, I'm, uh, I'm all for it. So real quick, man, for all the, for all the people that don't know, because you know, you, you, you're new to the, to the music world, um, give us some background on Trey Lou real quick. Yeah, I mean, so... First and foremost, I'm a professional athlete. Uh, this is my fifth professional year playing basketball. Uh, but, yeah, born and raised in Cleveland, Ohio, man. Yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, obviously, like I said, number one thing was always always basketball, but I've always loved music, you know what I'm yeah. saying? So, uh, for me, this was an easy transition uh, to make start making music as well. Haven't given up my passion or love for the game, but just, uh, you know, heading into a, a new – avenue where i can express myself man right for sure um is, is basketball what you ultimately wanted to do in life is that what you wanted to do yeah since a youngin you know uh ever since i can remember i've been in love with the game of basketball you know what i'm saying um yeah. so I, I always know i wanted to be a professional athlete and that was always first and foremost on my mind um yeah. but I've, like i said i've always had a passion for the music as well right um so i heard i heard the uh Speaking of music, I heard the Nipsey Hussle freestyle tribute. Yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying. Um, tell me, how has Nipsey influenced um, your life in any way? Yeah, no, just about elevation, man. The dude was yeah. way beyond his years, and yeah. he he really was a thinker. You know what I'm saying? That's what I I pride myself in being as well. Um, it, it was like he was always playing chess. You know what I'm saying? And he was always moves ahead. So he just taught me literally how to. Um, 
yeah, embody uh, you know, not not to just be put in a typical lane, you know what I'm saying? Like usually, you know, either an athlete or a rapper or whatever, they may have a certain stigma about them like, nah, you break out of those boxes. Definitely. Um yeah. what's your favorite nip song? Ooh. It's a lot of them, man, but I would I would like I, I would probably go with uh Hustle and Motivate. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah. For sure. Um yeah. Now you you rap and sing? Yeah, do a, do a little bit of both, man. Do a little bit of both, versatile. Um, okay. Do you do also produce? Yeah, so I, I mean, I, I like to be a part of the whole production process in any any track or song that I do. Um, but I realize all of that takes time. You know what I'm saying? Um, so uh, for me, I like to just really focus on the lyrics and um, and yeah, that's that's really what I love to focus on now. So, so give us a rundown of uh, a typical session with Trey Lou. Yeah. Do, like, do you come up with the – do you write the song first? Or do, you, do you hear a beat first? Give us, give us a rundown. Uh, so, yeah, for me, uh, when I'm in a creative process, and it happens at different times. Uh, sometimes I'll just listen to a song uh, or listen to, uh, listen to the beat over and over and just let it speak and, and go from there. Um, and sometimes, you know, I have a message that I already want to – uh, put out there to the world, and right. so I will. I'll, I'll just go in with that approach. Uh, but for me, man, I just love listening to different, uh, different beats, different sounds, um, and just literally uh, letting the beat speak to me, man. Right, right. Tell us about "Show You the Way." How how'd you come up with that concept? Beat, beat video, everything. Yeah, yeah. So I mean. Show you the way. Actually, the video, uh, if you haven't seen it, uh, for anybody out there, it's on YouTube yeah. right now. It was shot here at the crib yeah. in my backyard um, throughout the house. Um, so it's real authentic, man. Like, for me, is is what you what you hear is what you get. I'm um, not one of these artists, rappers who uh, just talking about a lifestyle they don't live, man. I kind of – that get to me, man. That's one of the reasons I started rapping, man, because it's like, look uh, – the game needs the real back, you know what I'm saying? And right. so uh, for me, that's what Show You The Way is about. I'm show, showing people way back to being real, to being, uh, you know, authentic in their music. And it ain't about flexing, man. It's just right. about being who you are. So how how, how was the uh, the transition? Yeah. Well, well, actually, tell me this. Do you, are you, do you still play professional basketball and do the music at the same time? Yes, yeah, sir. Absolutely. Absolutely. Tell us about the transition. Like, how did you yeah. really, like, decide, man, I really want to pursue this music? Because, you know, a lot of, a lot of, you know, athletes really do kind of rap on the side. And right. Did you transition to say, nah, this, I, want, I really want to pursue this and really make it a career? Yeah, I mean, so for me, uh, a reason I haven't done it earlier, I would say, it's just because I've always kind of stayed in my lane. You know what I'm saying? I've always been an athlete. And I, and I look down upon a lot of the rappers uh, or a lot of the hoopers that try to rap because, first of all, they suck, like, just being honest. Um, and, a lot of, and a lot of, you know, rappers always want to hoop, and they suck too. They you suck know what I'm saying? Sure. And so I always was just like, man, you know what? I ain't about to entertain that, you know what I'm saying, because I want people to take me serious. Right. But what I realized is, man, if I'm better than the majority of artists out here and – you know, I'm saying that as humbly as possible. I'm just confident in what what I'm able to do. It's right. like go ahead and do it. You know what I'm saying? Don't don't let fear hold you back. Don't let you know other people's opinions of you know putting you in a box or, yeah. or telling you what you should do. It's like you know if I want to go out here and rap and I got bars, I'm gonna go out here and let people hear it. You know what I'm saying? And Definitely. and I I was excited to do it because you know I've already built a fan base through basketball, so I got a lot of people that you know already uh, rocks with a lot of the stuff I do. So, you know, it, it made it a kind of an easy transition. Definitely. And, and, and you know, um, just, just for me listening to, to the tracks, man, I, I, I kind of appreciate your lane, man. You're not, you sound like you're just doing you and you're not yeah. trying to sound like nobody else. You ain't talking about, no, I ain't killing, I ain't doing all this. Yeah. You're doing you. Yeah, I mean, because I ain't killing nobody. You know what I'm saying? I'm not selling exactly. drugs. I ain't doing that. But, so like, why would but, I talk about but it? A lot you know? of, but a lot of the rappers aren't. There we anyway. go. There we go. <laughs> And that's so, the problem. That's the problem. But I, so, I, so I definitely want to commend you on that, man. And, and yeah. appreciate that for sure. Um, just a couple quick questions. Rapper, you got to pick one. You got to pick one. All right. Rapping or singing? Rapping. Basketball or music? Ah, oh, basketball. 
<laughs> For sure, that's, that's that's hard, man. That's, yeah. so, that's so messed up. But yeah. I had, I got I had to. For sure. Um, how, how do you how do you continue to uh, persevere, man, through all of the you know unexpected moments of life? How how does Trey Lowe persevere? Oh uh, wow, uh, definitely by keeping God first, man. Um, <laughs> And that's a lot. You're going to hear that a lot uh, on my project through the storm. Yeah. I'm happy you brought that up because like through the storm is all about uh, what do you do when you're going through a tough time? You know what I'm saying? And so at, a lot of times that encouraged me to pick up the pen and write. So a lot of my greatest my greatest work comes out of times of you know desperation or or times of uh, intense pressure or whatever I'm feeling at the time. So uh, that's how I get through it, man. But I definitely stay prayed up out here. Definitely. Man, you seem to have a strong faith in God, too, man. Is that, like, something that you learn from your family upbringing, or is that something that you learn as, as growing into an adult? And if so, what led to it? Uh, I think both, for sure. Um, major shout-out to my parents who have always instilled faith into me, um, but also just experiences in life, man. I've been through some things that um, my faith was tested, you know what I'm saying? And, and the only way I got through it was – um, through my faith in God and God really coming through for me. So uh, that's a big part of my uh, journey in life, and I don't shy away from it at all. Uh, speaking of a journey, man, I, I heard you you building a school in Africa. Uh, yeah, man. I had um, a privilege to go out there with an organization called Mama Hope. Okay. Uh, and, yeah, we got to go to Kenya, and I got the chance to meet with a, a lot of different people down there. And, and we was raising some money to uh, build a school for uh, some kids out there. So, Man, that's crazy. Tell us, yes, tell, sir. Can you tell us the progress on the school right now? Yeah, so everything kind of got slowed up with the whole corona, uh, COVID situation, obviously. So uh, it's on hold right now. But um, we still plan to continue that as soon as things um, open back up over there in Africa. Okay, that's dope, man. Um, I want to talk a little bit about, you know, you know you've been in your late 20s, man. You've seen the way, yeah. you know, technology kind of just runs the world right now. You know what I'm saying? Um, tell us, can you tell us, you know, a positive as well as a, a negative, man, um, how you feel technology has affected society? A positive first or a negative? Which one you want? Either one. Give me, give me a negative first. Give me a negative. I would say the negative is just uh, – you know, I see it all the time with the youth, especially like people, they just always on their phones, you know what I'm saying? And people in general, uh, you know, will be on our phones at a dinner table and not want to talk. And, you know, those, these devices really have our attention and it make yeah. us hard to have, um, you know, long attention spans to anything that's not like, you know, of interest to us. So uh, I would say that is a negative, but a positive is it allows, you know, people to connect all across the world. You know what I'm saying? Us being able to do this right now, wasn't able to do you know, five years ago. So I would say, you know, it makes the world smaller, makes people more, um, you know, uh, personal because you can you can really get to, you know, know people better. So Definitely. I think that's that's dope. Definitely. Um, I want to get get more current, man. I want I, I kind of want to know your political stance, man, just on the issues facing today. What's your stance on it? Man, uh, my stance is more of one of just like I'm saddened by uh, everything we see today, you know what yeah. I'm saying? Um, like the biggest thing is like, I just know how I feel as a black man and as a man in general, when I look at my phone and I just, uh, am constantly seeing, uh, all this just hate, all this, you know, violence, all this division, you know what I'm saying? And as a, as, as a Christian man, if that's, that's where I stand, you know what I'm saying? Is, is somebody who, you know, knows what the word talks about and God is a God of love and peace, you know what I'm saying? And when we not have that, um, it's because of a lot of this evil that's in the world, you know what I'm saying? So I'm all, I'm all against evil, any, any evil, however it's portrayed by whether it's black people, white people, yeah. any, any person of color, I'm, I'm against any hate, you know what I'm saying? So, uh, with that said, man, I'm just trying to do my part. Um, I, and I believe everybody should do theirs, you know what I mean? So do you feel like there will, there's like real change and progress going on, you know, from these protests and from these movements? Uh, No. I don't, you know what I'm saying? I, um, I think that um, we are hearing the cries of people who've been, you know, margin marginalized and oppressed for so many years. And I think, you know, that's necessary. But will it change people's um, perceptions of like racism and uh, people who are, you know, got deep hate within them? I don't think it's going to change that. 
but you know some laws may be changed and uh things of that nature and i would say yeah you know um but as far as like racism we ain't stopping that <laughs> right right we ain't stopping that so what what do you feel is um i know we don't have the answers i know we don't have the answers but what do you feel is a, a good solution right now for you know these killings for these murders for the you know what's going on yeah, I I don't have an answer to it, man. Um, I don't really have an answer to it. You know what I'm saying? I think if if we did have an answer to a lot of it, uh, we would we wouldn't be in the situation that we right. in. But I do think that, like I said, what what all I can do is take care of what I can take care of. You know what I'm saying? And anytime I, I I'm in a situation where I get to give back or like speak or you know. Um, However, I can be of influence, you know what I'm saying, in, in my neighborhoods and city, that's how I'm going to do it. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to take care of what I can take care of. You know, I got a foundation now, and we um, make it our, our business to, you know, get involved however we can and make change. So I think for everybody, man, it's just, it's just control what you can control. You know what I'm saying? Um, have you – I know you've been hearing about how they're trying to defund police all, of, all around and defund yeah. – Defund. I, well, I don't know if they're doing this out there. I know they're doing this out here. Defunding the police from yeah. schools. Yeah. Oh, I didn't hear that. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I know they're doing that here for sure. Trying to defunding trying to, the police from public schooling. Yeah. So you know, just you know, police um, being in schools, they call them SROs, mm -hmm. um, and they're trying to defund the whole program. So basically, there will be no police. Yeah. In, inside schools. Um, how do you feel about that? Uh, man, that's, that's such a rough topic, but I mean, I'm a, I, I've never been one to shy away from how I feel. Yeah. It's just like, you can't, you, you, we need police at the end of the day. You know what I'm saying? Like, uh, it'd be dangerous. It would be, it would be, it would be even more dangerous out here if we don't have police. Yeah. Uh, you know what I'm saying? So, uh, obviously I, I, I believe that we need justice for, um, you know, police who have wrongfully, you know, murdered and, and done wrong. They they need to be fired and they, they need to lose their jobs. But as far as like police, no, nah, we need police. We need good police. You know what I'm saying? We need, we need uh, police with good morals and that, you know, are here to protect and serve. So whoever those police are, they need to, you know, I, I believe they need to get paid more money. You know what yeah. I'm saying? For putting yeah. their life on the line. For sure. Top five poopers all the time. Top five. Easy. Easy. Jordan. Okay. Kobe, yeah, Bron, yeah, Shaq, and ah, oh, it's not easy. It's not easy. <laughs> ah, I'm throwing, I'm throwing AI in there just because hey. that's my guy. You know that's what I'm saying? I'm throwing AI in there. That's it's a, a lot one. I left out. That's tough, man. That's yeah, too you tough. know, it's, it's five out of thousands, man. So that's yeah, like, you know that what I'm saying? Easy. That was that's tough, man. That's There's a lot of a lot of my favorites in there too, more than just top top five artists. Trey Lou artist, top five artists. All time. I, need, I need your top five. I need your top five. We got Jay Z. We got Drake. We okay. got. I mess with Biggie. Yeah. I mess with Pac. That's four. Happy Happy birthday, Pac, too. Yesterday. Happy birthday, Pac. Yeah. Uh, one more. And one more. I'm going to go with. I'm going to go with Wayne. Okay. I'm gonna go away. As far as rappers, rappers. Yeah. Yeah. Now, now, as your as your as your career progresses, um, who's some artists that you personally want to collab with? That's good. I I want to work with a lot of artists within the Christian hip hop community. Uh, Joey Vantez, I actually got a song with him that should be coming out. Um, I got uh, I want to work with One K Few, Aha Gazelle. Um, I want to work with man, so many artists. Ty Brazil, Paris Riz. Um, he's a lot of artists that maybe not everybody know on, a, on yeah. the uh, mainstream side, but these are some some cats that's really really got it going right now. Yeah. Um, Lecrae, obviously. Yeah. Shout um, out. Shout out Lecrae. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, as far as uh, um, that's really it though, man. I don't really, you know, what I'm saying I'm, I'm excited about this next uh project that I'm working on. Okay. Um, but yeah. So tell us about that. Tell us about the project that's that you're working on that's coming out. When's it coming out? Yeah, so uh, I just dropped my first um, body of work uh, through the storm. 
uh, you know, I dropped it earlier this summer, and uh, it's available now, live mixtapes, you know, so you can get it on Dat Piff, Spinrello, all that. Uh, but, you know, the next body of work I'm going to put out is an album. You know, it's going to be a real complete body of work with different, uh, you know, features on it. Uh, but it's going to be it's going to be something that everybody is going to have a little something on there for everybody. Yeah. So I like the song, man. I like that dear Kobe, too, man. Tell me. Yeah. How, tell me how you felt actually writing and recording that song. man. Yeah, I'm going to get in here with some more light. Sweet. There we go. Uh so yeah, the song Dear Kobe, man, was really was really sentimental for me because, you know, meeting Kobe when I was younger, him being my favorite athlete all the time, um, it was one of them records that I just really wanted uh to dedicate to him and his family. Um and yeah, when I, every time I you know, I still get chills every time I hear the record. Yeah. Uh every time I perform the record. Um, it's one of them songs that, you know, everybody could feel when they hear it. And it just dropped today um, on yeah. all platforms. Yeah, I like that. And, and I'm, I'm going to get into it, too. I'm going to play it for him. Two more questions. Okay. Trey, finish the sentence. Trey Lou is. Trey Lou is what? The greatest basketball slash artist <laughs> to do it. On everything. DJ K-Tone is. Oh, I finish it, too? You got to finish it. I know we don't know each other like that, but yeah, you know yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? DJ K Tone is the coldest DJ out here. That's how you gotta come through. Let's get it. <laughs> if, if you don't, if you don't feel that, man, then you know what I'm saying. If you don't feel that way, you shouldn't be doing what you do. You know what I mean? On everything, I'm gonna get to it right now. I wanna play this Dear Kobe for him right now, man. Introduce it to the people, and we are gonna play it real quick. Y'all about to hear Dear Kobe by Trey Lou, man. One of my favorite records that I wrote to this day. Let's go. This one is called Dear Kobe. Dear Kobe, Trey Lou. You can find it on Spotify, Tidal, Apple Music, however you listen to music, you can get it. You can holler at Trey Lou right now, so if you got some questions, put them in the chat. He can hear you. Rest in peace, Kobe. Rest in peace, GG. Let's go. Look, born in Philly, then moved overseas. Handled your business, then made it to the league. There's a lot of dogs, man. But you a different breed. MJ passed the torch, and you took the lead. Kobe Bean, greatest player that I ever seen. Obsession of your game, it turned me to a fiend. Posters on my wall, cutouts from the magazines. I only met you once, and I was just a teen. You told me if I kept working, I would reach my dreams. From that moment on, I knew that I would be a king. Hey, Vanessa Bryant, I'm still praying for you, queen. You became my favorite player. It took no time. You and Shaft turned L.A. Back to Showtime. Dealt with adversity, but you paid it no mind. Soon as the tip-off came, it was go time. Let's take them back. Crazy Ace, Crazy with, the Ace with the fro. I was eight I was years eight old. Rocking purple, purple and gold. gold. Take them to the hole. No need for picking rolls. Then you drop that eight. Came back. It's 24. 20 seasons that you gave the game. All the blood, sweat, and tears. We all felt your pain. Two different jerseys, both from Hall of Fame, throwing trash away, fade away, we all scream your name. Kobe, Kobe Bryant, best to ever do it. Handles to the jump shot, boy, your game fluid. Injuries came, we watched you play through it. The Mamba mentality created Trey Lewis. I lost my favorite player, I don't know how to feel. You the reason I start playing for real. I used to study your moves just to copy your skills. Just thinking about it now, still give me the Let me chills. see the fire emojis if you're feeling that. Morning, it's very sad for every player and every dad, for every husband and every son. In so many ways that that relates to everyone. I'm going to celebrate your life and I'm going to do it right. You taught me give it all because I can't live it twice. Remember tough times, couldn't even sleep at night. Used to listen to your interviews just to get advice. Taught me if I shoot my shot, I got to let, let me it see the fire emoji. Your heroes come and go, but the legends never die. Some say Brown is better, I ain't heard a better lie. Because life outside of basketball ain't met a better guy. You taught the world that retirement's a chapter. You was more excited about what you was doing after. You ain't slowed down a bit. I seen you moving faster. I pray you, Gigi, your God is sharing laughter. Wish you could see the whole world of the mama. Because of you, I even want to be a father. Just seeing how you were with Gianna. 
I may name my kid Kobe in your honor. Hey. Just like yesterday, just watch it drop 60. End of the season, know your tank was on empty. Now that you're gone, I can't believe it like Ripley. But since you up there, dog, say what up to Nipsey, I'm gone. I'm gone. Say what's up to Nipsey. I'm yo Trey Lou. Yes, sir. Man, I definitely, man, I joined. definitely appreciate you, brother. Yeah, that's 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 dope, no man. Doubt. I like that, man. I like no that. doubt, man. That was real personable too, man. That was that was yes, dope. Yes, sir. Man. Yes, sir. You and any, any last words you want to say to the people before we get up out of here? Yeah, no, nah, continue to uh you know support me. Uh, you can go check me out on you know Twitter too as well, Trey Lou three. Um, follow my YouTube page. I'm constantly updating it. Uh, we got new the the Kobe visual is about to drop soon, and it's about to be crazy, bro. You gotta check that out too, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I had to send it to you early. Um, man, the Kobe you visual start, is about to be. You different. gotta start sending me everything early. I'm telling you. Say less. Say less. Yeah. So we gonna link it up, and and, and I want to give you a gift too, man. I give all my all my guests gifts. Big shout okay. out to on the on the grind, one hundred on the grind. On the uh, grind, that's sure hard. Hold on, brand new clothing. They got the brand new shorts. What? I'm saying, I see you. I so, see so, you. So we got you, man. They're gonna gift you. Um, wow. You know, gonna gift you a couple, a couple outfits, man. A couple shirts. That's dope. That's so dope. I appreciate it. that shirt. Look hard. So I yeah. can't wait to get that. And it's and it's and it's black on. You know what I'm saying? Dope, and man. And it's independent black on. So dope. We'll get that till you get that out to you. And uh, definitely appreciate you, man. Logging on. Yeah. Um, nah, I appreciate it too, man. For real. This is this has been yeah. dope, man. I like the vibe, man. But definitely. Continue following you and supporting you as well, bro. We on. We on. Appreciate yes, y'all. Y'all follow Trey Lou. Follow Trey Lou. All right, bro. All right. One love. Appreciate y'all tuning in. Every time I touch this damn camera, I knock it off. But it's all good. Shout out to On The Grind. You see brand new On The Grind shorts. OnTheGrind100.com. Use that promo code. DJ K Tone to check out. You're going to get 20%. Big shout out to On The Grind. Everybody talking about supporting Black business, independent black business, support that business. Dog clothing. Big shout out to Trey Lou. Follow him. Follow him. Follow Trey Lou. Support that. And uh, DJ Kato on 2020. This is the only 2020 this week. We're going to honor Juneteenth on Friday. Oh, actually, tomorrow. All weekend, we honor Juneteenth anyway. So we're going to take a break from that. We'll be right back next week. At DJ Kato. Follow me. OfficialDJKato.com. Get up on it. Appreciate y'all.